All right, folks, Paul Gomez from Gomez Training International. Today's video is a little bit different. Obviously, I am filming this sitting in a hotel room in you know, another crappy hotel room in another town. The topic today, this video is entitled, Pistols Suck, Get Over It. The last video, two videos back, I did a video on wound ballistics. That video got picked up a lot. There was a lot of discussion both on YouTube and on a bunch of the forums. And I, and I saw some things come up again and again. So I figured I'd take this time to to address some of those issues, some of those uh, some of those comments. <clears throat> some people took umbrage with my characterization that pistols were powerless, unreliable, difficult to shoot, etc., etc. Guys, it's not a matter of can you shoot a pistol. Anything you can do with a pistol, you can do easier, with less effort, and more impact on threat with a long gun. There's no two ways around it, guys. Pistols, we can carry them, we can have them with us, but they are not the tool of choice to bring to a fight for your life. Why are rifles or long guns easier to shoot than pistols? Now, there's a bevy of reasons. One, there's more of you on the gun. With a long gun, you get four points of contact. You get the butt pad against your shoulder, your cheek on the stock, one hand on the grip, one hand on the forehand. So there's more of you in contact with the gun, and it's spread out over a greater area. That translates to more control. Two, it is easy to get your body, your hands, above the bore line, above the line of force on a long gun than a handgun. Because in the rifle, you don't have a large mass of recipient, a large reciprocating mass on top of the gun that you have to stay out of the way of. So it's easier to get a better position on the rifle in that regard. Two, what are what does a rifle weigh? Let's say six pounds. Six pound rifle, a fairly light rifle with what? A two pound, three pound trigger. So you've got a gun that weighs at least two to three times the trigger weight on the gun, and there's more of you on the gun, and you're in a better position as far as control and recoil, control of force vectors on the gun. Compare that to your pistol. A two pound pistol with what? A five pound, six pound trigger, and at best, two hands on the gun. Something else you have to deal with with rifles is strictly iron sights. Now, Greater distance between your sights, greater sight radius, which translates to more forgiven sight picture, a more forgiven or an easier to accomplish acceptable sight picture on that long gun than on that pistol. So for all of those reasons, long guns are vastly superior to handguns when it comes to the defensive problem. The, 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 the reality is we can't have them in a lot of situations where we can have a pistol, but that doesn't make the pistol a great tool. That doesn't make the pistol powerful or reliable or easy to shoot in the grand scheme of things. So on that one, sorry, if you can't see that, get over it. Alright, next, I saw some comments concerning, you know, the, the idea of getting wound ballistics information from somebody other than a recognized authority. Yeah, and, and what I saw again and again was Doc GKR, Doc GKR. Understand guys, Doc GKR is Dr. Gary K. Roberts. Dr. Gary K. Roberts is one of the founding members of the International Wound Ballistics Association. When Doc Roberts puts out test data, when he puts out those numbers, those numbers are performance in the International Wound Ballistics Association test protocols. That's why he's using those numbers. That's are those tests and generating those numbers. He's using he's using a standardized test to generate data. Absolutely, Gary Roberts is, is the single most prolific wound ballistics expert on the internet. He, you know, he, he posts a lot more than anyone else uh, formerly affiliated with the IWBA, and he puts out a lot of great information. Nothing that I put out in the previous video, nothing was unique to me. I didn't create any of it, and I didn't put any errors on in that regard. I am merely trying to relay information that for some reason people seem to lack an understanding of. All right. Something else, I got a, a number of questions on is what ammo do I carry? What ammo do I carry? You, know, you talked about wound ballistics, but you didn't talk about what bullets you carry. Did you not listen, guys? Did you not listen? It doesn't matter. As long as it meets IWBA test protocols, that's the metric. That's what you look at. Right now, in that pistol, I have Winchester Ranger, 147 grain. But that doesn't matter. You look at the list. Does the ammo meet the, per the performance parameters we need? Does it work in your gun? That's a big one. And is the is the company known for consistent quality? 
Now, even when you're dealing with a major company, it is incumbent upon you to check every round of carry ammo when you, before you take it out of the box and put it in the magazines. Check it. Make sure it's in spec. Make sure the case is intact. Make sure the primer is properly seated. Make sure the projectiles look the same. Because even with major companies, weird crap happens. I've seen bad Winchester Ranger. I've seen bad Federal HST and bad Federal Hydroshock and bad Remington Golden Sabre um, and bad Spear Goldbot. It can all happen. But by sticking with a major company, making ammunition that performs well in the IWVA test protocols, and then checking your ammunition for a function in your gun, and confirming the ammunition that you're taking out of the box and loading in your magazines appears to be correct. It appears to match the rest of it. That's it. So, no, I didn't recommend a particular type of bullet or a particular round of ammunition because that's unimportant. What's important is the ammunition that you choose to carry meets the subjective criteria as far as performance. Anyway, guys, there you go. Uh, kind of quick, kind of rough. Like I said, I'm on the road again. Hopefully you found this interesting, worthwhile. Please check out the website, www.gomez-training.com. Thank you.